Have you ever wondered about the current humanitarian situation in Gaza? As we speak, civilians are battling the terrifying reality of major airstrikes, which have resulted in a rapidly escalating death toll and mass displacement, with hundreds of thousands of people left with no safe haven. This is a stark exacerbation of an already dire humanitarian crisis. Reports of death and violence have been alarming with Islamic Relief expressing its horror and condemning all acts of violence against civilians. We implore all involved parties to exercise restraint to prevent further casualties. The statistics paint a grim picture. Over 31,000 Palestinians have tragically lost their lives, while more than 72,000 have been injured. Heartbreakingly, nearly half of these fatalities are children. The death toll continues to rise as the airstrikes persist. Over in the West Bank, the situation is equally bleak, with over 300 lives lost and at least 2,750 injuries reported. The destruction unleashed by the airstrikes in the Gaza Strip is colossal. It's estimated that tens of thousands of homes have been obliterated, forcing four out of every five people to flee their residences. As they scramble for safety, many have sought refuge in schools and hospitals, desperately needing food and other basic essentials to survive. The current humanitarian crisis in Gaza is a catastrophe of immense proportions, a stark testament to the devastating effects of conflict. With tens of thousands of homes destroyed and four out of five people displaced, the situation is rapidly deteriorating. As we move on to discuss the health concerns and the collapsing healthcare system in the next scene, let's not forget the human faces behind these staggering numbers. They are people just like us, caught in a situation beyond their control, yearning for peace and normality to return. But what about the health implications of this crisis? Amid the rubble and chaos, the people of Gaza are facing a health crisis of alarming proportions. Poor sanitation and overcrowding, two conditions that are rampant in the wake of this catastrophe, have created a breeding ground for diseases. One of the most urgent health concerns is an outbreak of hepatitis A, a highly contagious disease that can wreak havoc on the liver. This is but one of the multitude of health risks that the civilians in Gaza are currently exposed to, a list that grows longer with each passing day. As if the threat of disease wasn't enough, the healthcare system in Gaza is teetering on the edge of collapse. Airstrikes have caused widespread destruction with hospitals and clinics among the casualties. These medical facilities, once the lifeline for the injured and sick, now lie in ruins. The ones that are still standing are a far cry from what is needed to meet the health needs of the population. They are overcrowded, under-resourced, and inadequately equipped to deal with the influx of patients. Imagine, if you can, a hospital that is meant to accommodate a hundred patients, now forced to hold three times as many. The sick and the injured jostling for space, doctors struggling to attend to every patient. The lack of basic medical supplies is a reality they are grappling with every single day. This is the grim picture of healthcare in Gaza today. With the healthcare system in such a precarious state, Treating and controlling the spread of diseases like Hepatitis A becomes a near impossible task. The battle here is not just against the immediate crisis but also against a future where the health of the population could be compromised for years to come. The healthcare system is on the brink of collapse, further exacerbating the humanitarian crisis. The situation is dire, and the people of Gaza need all the help they can get to navigate this catastrophic health crisis. So what can we do to help alleviate this dire situation? We may not be there on the ground, but our actions can still make a profound impact. One of the most immediate ways to contribute is by donating to organizations that provide much-needed aid to Gaza. These charities work tirelessly to deliver food, medical supplies, and other essential survival items to those most affected by the crisis. But it's not just about financial contributions. Raising awareness about the ongoing humanitarian crisis is equally important. Share information with your friends, family, and social media networks. Knowledge is power, and the more people who are aware of what's happening, the more pressure there can be on world leaders to take action. Advocate for peace and the protection of civilians. Reach out to your representatives, urging them to push for peaceful resolutions and to ensure the safety of those caught in the crossfire. 
Your involvement, no matter how small, can make a significant difference in the lives of those suffering in Gaza. Act now.